Welcome to our Science and Technology Briefing program. Today, we're diving into a trio of intriguing stories that have caught our eye. First up, nickel investors might just be rubbing their hands with glee as the metal's price begins to climb, hinting at a market rebound that could defy previous oversupply concerns. This shift is largely powered by the electric vehicle boom and a keen eye on sustainable mining practices. Then, we're zooming out to a global scale, where countries are grappling with the complexities of drafting a pandemic treaty. It's a tale of international intrigue, with the goal of avoiding past mistakes seen during COVID, but the path is fraught with challenges, including debates over intellectual property and the role of the WHO. Last but not least, we're looking at Apple, a company known for its meticulous brand image, which recently found itself in hot water. The tech giant had to issue an apology for an iPad ad that struck the wrong chord with audiences, reminding us all of the delicate balance between creativity and sensitivity. So, buckle up for these stories and more. Please stay tuned for detailed content. In the ever-evolving world of commodities, nickel has recently emerged as a beacon of opportunity for investors, as reported by The Globe and Mail. Following a period of price depression due to an oversupply from Indonesia, the metal's value has begun to rebound, climbing to over $19,000 per ounce in April from a low of $15,700 earlier in the year. This resurgence is fueled by the growing demand from the electric vehicle, EV, and energy storage sectors, which are increasingly prioritizing sustainability. The initial claims of a supply glut have been challenged by environmental concerns and the realization that the actual nickel inventory may be lower than reported. This discrepancy suggests that the market could correct more swiftly than anticipated with the International Energy Agency forecasting supply shortages later this decade. The push for sustainable mining practices that align with climate and net-zero goals further underscores the importance of expanding nickel mining in Western countries to meet the burgeoning demand. On a different front, the world's efforts to prepare for future pandemics have hit a snag, as highlighted by Yahoo US. Despite the hard lessons learned from COVID-19, countries have struggled to draft a cohesive pandemic treaty under the guidance of the World Health Organization. WHO. The current draft faces criticism for lacking enforceable consequences for non-compliance, with contentious issues including intellectual property rights and the role of the WHO itself. The organization aims to finalize the treaty by the end of May, but the lack of consensus raises concerns about the global community's ability to effectively prevent and manage future disease outbreaks. Meanwhile, in the tech world, Apple has found itself in a rare position of having to issue an apology for a recent advertisement, as reported by Nikkei Asia. The ad, titled Crush, was meant to promote the latest iPad Pro model but instead drew backlash for its depiction of musical instruments and symbols of creativity being crushed, an imagery many found to be insensitive. The ad, which has garnered over a million views on Apple's YouTube channel, was shared by CEO Tim Cook on social media, highlighting the company's commitment to its product. Despite the controversy, the iPad Pro, touted as the thinnest Apple product ever with upgraded displays, became available for order, underscoring Apple's ongoing innovation in the face of occasional marketing missteps. Each of these stories, from the rebounding nickel market and the struggle to draft a global pandemic treaty, to Apple's advertising hiccup, illustrates the complexities and challenges that define our modern world. Whether it's navigating the intricacies of global commodity markets, forging international consensus on health emergencies, or managing brand perception in the digital age, these narratives underscore the importance of adaptability, sustainability, and sensitivity in pursuing progress and innovation. In the ever-evolving landscape of California's economy and technological advancements, Governor Gavin Newsom is grappling with a challenging fiscal situation, while the state also embarks on pioneering tests with generative artificial intelligence AI tools. Meanwhile, on the international stage, the U.S. is tightening its trade restrictions against Chinese companies in response to espionage activities, adding a layer of complexity to global economic and political dynamics. According to the Associated Press, California's budgetary concerns have deepened, with Governor Newsom poised to disclose a more significant budget deficit than previously anticipated. Initially, in January, Newsom announced a daunting $38 billion deficit, attributed to diminishing tax revenues. This shortfall is expected to have grown, compelling the state to make even tougher financial decisions. California's economy, heavily reliant on the taxes of its wealthiest residents, finds itself at the mercy of stock market swings, making budget forecasting an arduous task. The state has already taken measures such as spending cuts and borrowing from other accounts to mitigate the deficit. With a constitutional deadline of June 15 looming, state lawmakers are under pressure to pass a balanced budget, a task that promises to be fraught with difficult choices. 
On a different note, California is also at the forefront of integrating generative AI into public services, as reported by the Associated Press. The state has entered partnerships with five companies to develop AI tools aimed at enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of public services. These tools, which are currently in the testing phase by state workers, hold the potential to revolutionize various sectors. From reducing customer call wait times to improving traffic and road safety, and even providing vital information about health and social service benefits, the possibilities are vast. However, the state has yet to disclose the financial implications of this technology or its implementation strategy. The advent of generative AI, while promising, also raises significant concerns regarding job displacement, the spread of misinformation, privacy infringements, and the risk of automation bias. Amidst these developments within California, the U.S. government has taken decisive action against Chinese companies involved in espionage activities. The Globe and Mail reports that the Biden administration has imposed trade restrictions on 37 Chinese entities, including some implicated in supporting a spy balloon's intrusion into U.S. airspace last year. Among those listed are units of the China Electronics Technology Group, accused of attempting to acquire American technology to bolster China's quantum technology capabilities. This move comes on the heels of earlier restrictions placed on five companies and one research institute in February 2023 all linked to supporting China's military modernization. These measures underscore the escalating tensions between the US and China, highlighting concerns over national security and the global technology race. These narratives, spanning from California's budgetary woes and technological innovation to international trade and security measures, illustrate the complexity of navigating today's economic and geopolitical landscapes. Governor Newsom's upcoming decisions on addressing California's growing budget deficit will have significant implications for the state's future. At the same time, the exploration of generative AI tools presents an opportunity to redefine public service delivery. On the global stage, the U.S.'s stance against Chinese espionage activities reflects the ongoing challenges in maintaining national security in an increasingly interconnected world. Together, these developments paint a picture of a dynamic era marked by financial challenges, technological advancements, and global tensions. The geopolitical landscape, as foreign affairs elaborates, is increasingly influenced by the competition among nations and corporations to dominate these infrastructure networks. This race is not just about economic supremacy but also about setting the standards that govern the use of these technologies. The article highlights the emergence of new power brokers, including standard-setting entities and financial institutions, which play pivotal roles in determining the direction of infrastructure development. This complex interplay of actors underscores the need for a reimagined approach to governance, one that prioritizes transparency, accountability, and the inclusion of diverse stakeholders. The article further explores the dual nature of infrastructure as both a critical service and a financial commodity. This duality presents challenges and opportunities, particularly in the realm of green infrastructure, where the rush to innovate and standardize can sometimes overlook the needs and voices of local communities. The push for sustainable and eco-friendly infrastructure projects, while noble, must be balanced with considerations of social equity and community impact to avoid unintended consequences like gentrification. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. 
Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6do Brief via email.